What's up, everybody? This is your boy Trayvon here with Scent Talk TV. Thank you so much for joining me here today. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. I really do appreciate the love and the support that you guys give. And all the comments in the comment section below continue to do so with your thoughts, concerns, and opinions. I'm open to all that to my subscribers. Thank you so much. You guys are great. But without further ado, let's jump into this review. <sighs> so I am gathered here today to present to you a horrendously ill-fated fragrance that I thought I fooled myself thinking that this would be any if not it's just half bad at least but no and that disappointing fragrance is Dunhill 51.n3 whatever you want to call it I would have high hopes for this but I know what you guys are thinking for $17 what more do you expect I understand that that's besides the point the point is I spent another 17 to 20 bucks on water if Calvin Klein obsession night was not bad enough <sighs> pleasant and gorgeous scent but this doesn't even last an hour or two at all as far as performance Tommy Bahama is all over this this doesn't even come up to the standards of a eau de cologne concentration this doesn't project this doesn't last at all my body was fully saturated with lotion. No dry pores at all. This was my scent of the day yesterday at work. I sprayed five to 10 times on my body, my shirt, and the hoodie that I wore to work. It still did nothing. One of my coworkers that usually compliment me on my fragrance, she didn't smell anything. She couldn't smell nothing. When did it all go wrong, Dunhill? When did it all go wrong, Dunhill? More like downhill. Like what? What happened, bro? What? What? What happened? Another rebellious cologne that doesn't want to do what is told, which is stay on my skin. If you spray this on and walk outside and the wind is blowing, the scent on your body will blow with the wind and it will be gone. That is how weak it is. I don't care if it is $17. Gosh darn it. If you just did reviews on Dunhill Desire Red and Extreme and was hype about this one. So I gave it a chance and gave it some warning. Rhubarb, pink and black pepper and saddlewood. This is a sweet, woody, soft, spicy, creamy rhubarb. Overall, if you are a fan of rhubarb, look elsewhere. Projection was good within the first 30 minutes and then it set close. It didn't even sit close to the skin. It sit close to the air and jumped off the cliff of my body and went floating through the air. But if you want an estimate, it one to two hours and that's it gorgeous 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 scent all oh, wasted i hate scents like this has a enormous amount of potential to be something great but why do you smell awkwardly good but is horrendously weak. Age group, middle age on up, more mature, has a mature, classy feel. Younger guys run, middle age, run. Mature gentlemen, run. I should put it back in the box that it came in and shipped it off to the company with an angry letter attached to it saying, bro, don't do this again. Don't do this ever again. You should know better. This fragrance could not offend me more in just performance. 
When I say that this is even weaker than Obsession Night by Calvin Klein, my goodness. Tommy Bahama will annihilate this in performance. And to the people that has this fragrance, oh, I had six to eight hours of good projection. I'm so happy for you because right now I'm not happy with myself because I spent money on water. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the first scented water. Dunhill N51 3N, whatever you want to call it. A stupid, stupid name. 51 3N, like my goodness. Is that the age you got to be in order to get a decent performance out of this? Because I'm only 30 years old and it's not performing on me at all. So that's probably like a hidden agenda behind this fragrance or something. Please, somebody, please. Try to help me understand why are why is this so weak? Why, why, why? Don't say because it's $17, I don't wanna hear it. I do not wanna hear it. I know what I said. All weak fragrances has a purpose. But this one has a purpose to be in the trash along with Calvin Klein Obsession Night. Seasons to wear this, there's no season. There's no season at all. No summer, no fall, no winter, no spring. If you haven't catched the point of this video, you know what I'm trying to get at, right? Right? Don't, don't buy this. $17, wasted, again. You know what, I'm done. I'm done. I done crucified this long enough. It's your boy Trayvon here with Sin Talk TV. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. And I will see you guys in the next video. Be safe, be blessed without this. And have a good one. I'm out of here. Peace.